live from Las Vegas, it's The Cube, covering Magento Imagine 2019. Brought to you by Adobe. Hey, welcome back to The Cube. Lisa Martin at Imagine 2019 from the Win Las Vegas. It's happy hour here, but I really wish I had a Coke. I don't have one, but I do have a gentleman from Coca-Cola. Please join me in welcoming a couple of guests to theCUBE. We have Enrique Negrete, the director of Direct-to-Consumer for Coca-Cola Mexico. Enrique, thank you for joining us. Thanks, Lisa, nice to meet you. And we have from 44, Raghu Kakarala, managing partner. Welcome to theCUBE. You nailed the name, there you go. That's I, a great I did start my best. to the interview. I did my best. All right, so here we are at Imagine 2019 with about, I don't know, 3,500 or so people. This show is one that has a tremendous amount of energy. It's like you gave everybody a Coke when they walked in the door, didn't really need it, but we've heard a tremendous amount of positivity, people very excited for being able to leverage the power of data to deliver really impactful experiences, and as consumers, of any product, we want a brand to know us, we want them to help us make our lives better. So before we dig into that with Coca-Cola, Raghu, let's start with you. 44 is one of Magento's partners. Give us a little bit of a history there on what you guys do together with Magento and for customers like Coca-Cola Mexico. Oh, thank you, Lisa, and thank you for inviting us here today. Uh, well, when we put together 44, we asked ourselves the question of like, how do we aspire to be great? And one of the things was to surround ourselves with great partners, and Adobe's definitely been a great partner for us. Because what we want to do is bring to, to our customers a, not just a site, but an experience for their consumers that can live on and grow and invest in a platform. And what we found with Adobe and the Magento Commerce Cloud was a way that we could start building something and then iterate towards greatness by using data and insights to build upon our knowledge. And luckily, we found a great partner in Coca-Cola that we could aspire to be great together to the end consumer. E-commerce is still in its early days, and what we wanted to say is that a great brand could start and start looking at e-commerce in a way to improve their customers' lives, be available in moments that of need and moments of want. And that's something we started doing with North America about four years ago and brought that to Western Europe and now LATAM. In the last year, it's been a great experience partnering with you. Coca-Cola is a brand that everybody knows globally. It's one of those almost feel-good brands, right? I mean, you just can't help but get a smile on your face when somebody asks if you want a Coke. Well, of course, who would say no to that? Give me a little lemon twist and I'm very happy. Yes. But something that you guys are doing together for, with Coca-Cola Mexico was really inspirational and it's really helping to transform and improve people's lives. Enrique, talk to us about the program that you're building with 44 and how it's actually making, giving people access to things that they don't just want, but they actually need, like quality of life type of, sure. of products and so, services. Uh, thanks, thanks a lot, Lisa, for the invitation. So uh, first of all, uh, yeah, we have a big challenge because uh, we, we know we have a great brand. We actually have a lot of brands and that's the challenge. So uh, how can we uh, create this, uh, this solution where we can uh, access people to this beverage for life. So it's not only Coke, we have a lot of different products, and we, what we have in Mexico is that uh, it's a, a project that we are calling Coca-Cola en tu hogar, it's Coke at home, and what we do there is we are providing the consumers uh, a subscription model where we are enabling the access to multiple beverage products anytime and everywhere. So that's, that's, the, that's the ambition we have. We launched uh, last year in, uh, in the city of Monterey. It's, it's our you know, first city and we are planning to scale this business into the whole country and probably Latin America first. And why not, probably the States, some, some foreseeable future. So this is more than on demand. I live in Silicon Valley where we're pretty, you know, we have high expectations of I want to order something, whether it's on DoorDash or through Google Express or Amazon, that I, I want it to show up within an hour. But that's, you know, I might be lazy that I don't actually want to get in my car and drive or walk somewhere. But what you're talking about, this is, this is not just I want Coca-Cola products on demand. This is actually reaching people that really have a strong need for this type of service. Talk to us about that human interaction and what you guys are really enabling there for your consumers. Sure, so uh, so yeah, you nailed it. So 
the thing is, uh, what we see, the, the big opportunity here is, uh, we want to be closer to our consumers. We want to understand them. We want to, to hear from them, to receive feedback, direct feedback. The way we are used to, to work in Coca-Cola in the past 133 years, that the, that's the history of Coca-Cola, uh, we, we have the customers that interact with the consumers and then we get some information, feedback from the consumers. We've been great at, the, at doing marketing campaigns, you know, but uh, right now the challenge that we are facing is we want to have direct feedback from them. So we're creating this uh, ecosystem where we are getting feedback we're getting uh, knowledge from them and, and we know exactly what, what's their, their needs, uh, the pain points that they are suffering and, uh, and the way what we can solve them and probably eventually uh, some uh, future products that we can uh, create for them with the specific necessities that they have. So that's what we are creating there. That's a big thing. And so we're going to talk to us about the opportunity to work with a brand like Coca-Cola that's been around for over 130 years, talk about transformation, and be able to enable them to, to really kind of not just delight customers, but there's an emotional connection that people have yeah. with this product. So we always say like, ideally done, we can add value from the state of desire to the state of consumption, and the in-between is a transaction, it's fulfillment, it's operations, and perhaps unique to most clients of um, Magento and Adobe, Coca-Cola in Mexico owns the full relationship and it's a full branded piece from creating that desire in your heart, in your mind, in your taste buds, um, <laughs> but then owning that all the way through the delivery trucks and the people delivering it to your door. And that's something that a CPG firm just, actually I'm not sure if any other CPG firm does in the US or in Mexico at this point. And, but then what does excellence mean? We have an, an idea of excellence of what Coke means to us, the nostalgia and what it means today, but that also raises a high bar because we're not allowed to not be excellent at any other touch point of the brand. But that's why it's fun, right? It's a challenge. Yeah. You know, making money online, that's the easy part. Being really proud of what you're doing online, that's kind of what makes you go to work every day. Being well, relevant for consumers is what. Yeah. Being relevant, absolutely. Especially yeah. because there's a lot of choice. Yes. With most products and services Definitely. that are available to us as consumers these days. And if you think of, you know, we've been talking a lot at this event about the customer experience and customer experience management and how can Adobe and Magento enable their customers to use data to understand what, delivering what my customer wants to improve, whether it's, you know, we talked to HP Inc. this morning, allowing me to order a new PC or printer or ink and have it delivered specifically exactly the way that I want it, to whether it's, you know, getting a Coca-Cola, I want whoever I'm interacting with to give me a seamless experience, but to, to use the data that you're collecting about me to make my life better, make my life easier, more seamless, Frictionless. Yeah. How are you guys at, at uh, 44 helping Enrique and team utilize that data to, to really enhance this consumer experience and maybe even create more brand loyalty? Yeah, it's interesting. I think data is a tool, but then your hypothesis of where you go from has to be endemic to the brand. And for Coca-Cola on the, internally we think of it as a portfolio a portfolio of different products and different need states, from hydration to enjoyment, from special moments to everyday moments. But then that allows you to start thinking, how do I be part, a relevant part of more moments? And then you could say, where does data fit into that? And now I can understand how there's new moments being made because people's lives change. And the, the youth always find different ways and different ways of living and different ways of being. How can we be relevant to them throughout all, throughout all of that? From a moment you wake up and what your need state is there to special moments of happiness. And to have a company that has products that could live up to all of that is great. And you know, you need a portfolio, but you also need to bring desire and want and need all together in one thing because one person has all of that and one company can fulfill it if you think about it from a 
idea of moments, but then what data can do to bring those to life. So, so being relevant, continuing to be relevant is a challenging. It's going to require you to really look at trends across a spectrum of, say, consumer behaviors. Enrique, what are some of the trends that you guys are seeing with this project that you've launched in Mexico, and how are you going to be using those trends to expand this globally? Sure, yeah. So, uh, so first of all, as you, as you know, probably e-commerce in Mexico is, uh, is quite small right now. So uh, the thing is, uh, it's growing in you know, very aggressive rates. Uh, and, uh, and it happens the same in the rest of Latin America countries. So uh, what, uh, what other retailers are looking at is they want to create this, uh, this big business right now because they know that in the future it's going to be the competitive advantage for them. So, so I think uh, that's something that not many CPGs are looking at. Uh, there's uh, a lot of, uh, of things that must happen inside the companies to enable this, and uh, on my experience, the most challenging things, and it's not a trend, but it's, it's a challenge that we face as, as the big CPG companies, is how can we change the culture inside the company, uh, because this is the main barrier we have, we face. Uh, when we see, and I, I'm going to give you the example of Mexico, when we see the digital sales of the beverage in Mexico, uh, it comes about to 0.5% of the total sales that we have. So it's, it's really small if you compare it to the rest of the, of the retail. Uh, so uh, whenever we go to the, to the rest of the corporate and the rest of the building in Mexico, and we say that we want to invest and we want to do, there's, there's a lot of barriers, you know? And the challenge, the main challenge that we face right now, uh, uh, the, these companies that want to go direct to consumer is this, is, how can we change the mindset, change the culture, and, and I, I think that's the most relevant, it's not a trend, but it's, it's the most relevant challenge that we're facing right now. Uh, that's a big challenge. Yeah. Because not just for, for, for every company, but a company with the history that Coca-Cola has, to be able to start leveraging that data to start to change mindsets and shift cultures. Where are you guys on that journey and how is your partnership with 44 maybe a facilitator of that cultural change? Yeah, sure, so it's, uh, to be really honest, we are, we are beginning this journey. We, uh, we have some countries that are ahead of us. We have uh, some examples in China, for example, Coca-Cola in China is doing great things. Uh, Coca-Cola in North America is doing very big things. Uh, in Mexico and Latin America, we're starting this journey. And the thing, what we realized is that we need to get together with people that know of this matter. We are really good at marketing, we're really good at uh, commercial approach, uh, operational approach. Uh, we are not the best at e-commerce, uh, but we, that's why we are partnering with, uh, with guys that, that know and we are partnering with uh, platforms like Adobe and Magento to, to achieve this. That's, that's the thing, right? Yeah. So Raghu, we'll finish with you. What are some of the, the things that you have seen and heard at Imagine 2019 from a technology innovation perspective that give you the confidence that Adobe and Magento's technologies are going to be able to deliver what it is that Enrique and his team need to make that barrier change internal evaporate? Yeah, I mean, I think when you think of technology right now, even within Adobe's, it's what the combination of different products that Adobe has and how they're going to come together. So the roadmap is a, a critical piece of it. I think there's been a great announcement of Sensei coming in um, and being part of the core offering to make each interaction a little smarter, but also to really see the payoff and say, what's the real need that's trying to be solved? And then back that into the products that you see to cut between the difference between the press release and a roadmap, and I think the, when you come to a summit like this, you hear things from Adobe, but then you also hear the reactions from the customers, and if you hear those both at the same time, you find that great thing in the middle of what's actionable. And I think if you think of only customer opinions or the, what the platform says individually, I, I think they're less relevant than finding that real-time reaction to trends and say, honestly, sometimes you're drowning in technology and you want to move the business forward and react to that week's sales, that month's numbers, 
but then you say, well, let me take a step back and look at the roadmap, or vice versa. And I think everybody's in different stages of where they're going. So until you get that wisdom from everybody else, any one announcement might be, um, might take you off course, but then you start saying, other people are in my boat, other people are filling my opportunity, my sense of opportunity, and other people are feeling my sense of pain. And it's great to see a community come together. It's 5,000 people that all want to accomplish something, different things, but they want to accomplish success, whatever, however they personally define it. And it, it is, to your point, it's a very, very strong community here. But well, we thank you both so much for taking the time to share with us what you guys are doing together with Coca-Cola, a brand that everybody knows and loves. So I say we go get a Coca-Cola and wrap sure. this segment. What do you think? Sure. All right. Thank a you. moment of happiness <laughs> is coming. Yeah. Fantastic. You're watching theCUBE. I'm Lisa Martin from Imagine 2019 from the Win Las Vegas. Thanks for watching.